All right, so this is Shane Armand Rowe. We're going to be looking at the Inex game controller. And uh, this is a Super NES pad type controller. Pretty cheap on Amazon. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different knockoffs. Um, but essentially, this is what you're looking at. This is a standard SNES style controller, four buttons to start and st uh, select, and then a left and right bumper. Uh, no special switches or anything on the back, and a standard D pad. So I've got this connected, I've got two of these, they come in a twin pack. So I've got two of these, um, one's connected to my C64 Mini, and the other one is connected to my Raspberry Pi. So I thought we would go ahead and take a look at how this works. I've already set up a configuration on the C64 Mini Zone. Um, you can go there and use my configuration editor to make your own configuration files for the games. And I do support this particular controller for mapping. So uh, we'll show that in a separate window here, probably while you're watching this, and then give you a link to where you can set that for yourself. I'm going to go ahead then and fire on the uh, C64 Mini. Okay. Sorry, my HDMI cable's a little short. We'll have to make do. All right. the volume up a little bit. So this controller um, works within the interface just fine. Um, you use the uh, right bumper here to actually select stuff. So we're going to go down to the USB. We're going to select. We're going to go to S for that new Super Mario Brothers that just came out. All right. And I've already made a config file for this. Gonna launch. And I've set the button so that there's a one jump and a one run button. All right, so we're going to use this recommended settings. And as you can see, it works just fine. The D-pad's nice and tight. Extra one up here. So there you go. And then um, the way that the controllers map, the start button cannot, or the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the start button can't be um, remapped. So that acts as the, uh, the in game hotkey. So you can't remap this one, but you can remap all the other ones. Uh, and that's that. So there you go. It works very well in the Commodore 64 Mini. And so we're going to set this thing up. Some people have asked me to show you how to do this sort of thing. So I'm going to transfer over to the Pi with my retro Pi image. I need some juice. And we will have to, as everything falls over, we will have to hook a keyboard up as well. This isn't the perfect case, unfortunately. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and fire that up. All right, and temporarily you're going to need a keyboard, so I'm going to plug a keyboard into the Pi here. Okay, so now the keyboard's plugged in. Wait for the Pi to boot. And so this is already plugged in, so this is a standard um, USB controller, so we're going to go ahead, let this guy finish up. Okay. So um, you can see the controller, of course, does not work out of the box. So we're going to use the um, keyboard here, see if I can remember how to do this. It's tab. Okay, so we're going to hit tab. Oh, not tab. Enter. Okay, so we hit enter on the keyboard. Configure input. Oops. Hit the A button. Yes, I want to configure. Press and hold down any button on your device. We're going to push that down. It shows up as a USB keypad. Up, down, left, right. We are going to use, um, we're not going to, let's see, let's make select and start the same. Well, let's not do that. Let's make start the right bumper. We'll make select, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, 
right shoulder. Eh, we're not going to get a right shoulder out of this. That's okay. For now, this will work. Um, no left trigger, no right trigger, no thumb, no left analog, blah, blah, blah. And our hot key is going to be the start button. Now we're okay. Okay. So it'll save that configuration. Now we're in good shape. All right, so now we can jump into whatever our standard configure, uh, emulator is. All right, so I'll do some 1942. It's easy. I remember I made start over here. Starts our hot button here. So let me see. All right. There you go. We got a nice uh, D-pad, pretty cheap, very responsive. Works great on the Pi. Works great on the um, C64 Mini. Of course, it works pretty much on anything that would accept a USB gamepad. And with our current settings, it should be hot button and select, or hot button and start to get us out, which it is. And now we're back to the menu. So there you go. So you got a little bonus tutorial there. So it works great with the Pi. Works great with the. Uh, C64 Mini, and um, yeah, well listen, I hope you enjoy, oops, I got the power button. All right, well listen, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the uh, Innext game controller, USB style, and uh, please subscribe, uh, like this video, share it with your friends, uh, we really appreciate your uh, patronage on the site, so thank you very much. Again, this is Shane Armand Rowe, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.